of the things I, I loved about Cusp from the outset was just the premise of looking at design for the next decade. Uh, I think it's really crucial that we're ambitious about the future and that we have conversations about the future. The idea of looking at the near future, looking at how one particular industry or discipline can actually have an impact and shape um, the future in different ways, I think that's a kind of aspiration that we, we need to have and we need to start those conversations. I think they'll inspire other people to suggest their own solutions. My first impression of CASP really was a sense of playfulness walking in here. Um, there was this real sense that they were all of these designs were out playing right at the edge um, of, of what was possible, what was probable and what was completely insane um, when you looked at things like Stephen Mushin's work, for example. Uh, the other thing that, that came um, to mind was the sense that all of the designers were working iteratively, so this idea that everything was kind of fast and cheap and adaptable and flexible. Um, no one was trying to create a monument or um, do claim any kind of permanency. This was all, from, from my perspective, it was all about people trying to find quick solutions that could be implemented, tested and then tried again. Floyd Mueller's exertion game design really resonated with me as something that could be implemented tomorrow um, and could actually inspire a lot of other people to come up with interesting uses for um, interactive media surfaces in the city. Uh, I, I imagined them at schools and at bus stops and at the train station. I imagined them in all kinds of public spaces um, and people creating new kinds of games, uploading different kinds of content um, and having a different sort of relationship with each other and also with the public realm. Uh, I think the, the public programs did a, a really clever job of actually spreading content around the city. So I, I loved the Talks in Transit concept, this idea of actually enlivening people's journeys on the train uh, from Central to Kasula. When you think about the fact that in Sydney people spend an hour to two hours in transit every day, that actually suggests a great opportunity for, for different ways of bringing culture to people and enlivening um, those sorts of everyday journeys. CASP actually opens up some opportunities for designers to see themselves as collaborators across different industries. Um, I loved the, the possibility of someone like Paul um, Foleros, who's an architect, working with